Good morning, friends. It is a little bit cold out today, but I need to run some errands for the antique booth and to get ready for our celestial antique booth reset, which is coming up tomorrow, actually. So today we're going to be doing a little pricing. We're going to be doing a little thrifting. We're going to be doing a little bit of furniture work and all of that so we can get it loaded up into the car and taken in tomorrow to get the whole antique booth reset. But the first thing I'm going to do today is go thrifting, so come thrift with me. My first stop today is to my local thrift store, and they made some big changes to their setup since I was in last week. Right off the bat, I spotted this blue floral planter. The price was great, but the print was definitely not going to fit in the booth theme for this month. However, the gold arched stand beside it was a no-brainer, and it went straight into my cart. I have a real problem with picking up anything gold or brass, and when I do, I have a hard time selling it because I enjoy decorating with it so much. I did end up walking around with this cottage-style shelf slash hanger with the intention of using it somewhere in my house, but the longer I looked at it, the more I noticed how much wood glue was leaking out from the seams and the sides of it, so I did decide to leave it for someone else to take home. They always have a lot of serving and dinnerware pieces at this thrift store. I have an affinity towards pretty dining sets, but they never seem to sell well in my antique booth and they are no fun to ship, so I only end up buying them for myself or very occasionally when I'm getting wall hanging pieces. Cocktail sets on the other hand I do love picking up for the booth. You really can't be a pretty bar setup in your dining room, den, or living space. I was happy to find this cute little star trinket dish and I thought it would make a perfect addition to the celestial booth theme. One thing I'm always trying to do when I go out thrifting is to shop for multiple themes or needs all at once. This basket or these glasses didn't really work in the Celestial collection, but they will work in my spring reset, which will be closer to my own modern cottage decorating style. And if I see something that I want in my own home, of course I'm always going to pick it up. Gold mirrors tend to catch my eye, and this one was no exception. I find a lot of nice mirrors around, but I have a much harder time finding artwork that I like. Maybe I'm just a little bit too picky. I was able to find a couple cute things this go around, so it's making me feel pretty positive that today we're going to find some good stuff. Now is off to our second store for the day to see what else we can find there. The front room at the ReStore had mainly seasonal items for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter. Personally, I don't pick up any decor items specifically made for holidays, even though I know that they can be good sellers in antique booths. The style I tend to decorate with in the booth is very subtle, and I want you to walk in and think, wow, this feels like Valentine's Day with pink and red tones and velvety textures without seeing literal heart shapes all over the place. I skipped over the lighting and home renovation sections even though I do love to look through them almost every time I go in. I can't buy anything I don't need if I don't look though, right? In the back knickknack section, I did see this black candlestick holder, however $3 was just too much for resale on that piece, and the same with the very cool round metal vase next to it, especially when I saw the shape it was in, otherwise I definitely would have picked it up. This couch was in great condition and also had a matching love seat behind it. For $80, I can promise you that this did not stay long after I left.
It is not very often that I find absolutely nothing in a store, but it seems like the stores today are in the process of doing kind of like a spring cleaning while it's slow during this off season. Cause usually January and February tend to be a little bit slow for shopping after the holidays, but everyone's kind of rearranged their store and gotten rid of a lot of product. So everything's a bit empty right now. I'm about to go into our third store for the day and hopefully we can find a little bit more items in here. I did a really quick walkthrough of this Goodwill and even though I saw a few pieces that I liked, there wasn't anything I felt that I just had to have that go around. Looking back though, I definitely should have grabbed those green glasses. We started off strong, but yet again, another strikeout for the day. So we've got one more store to go to for the day and hopefully we can grab a couple more items. I don't need too much more, but just a little bit to round off the collection and make it feel like the antique booth will be full. We're at the final store for the day, which is another Goodwill. I don't particularly enjoy shopping at Goodwill personally. I would rather go to the local thrift stores before I go to Goodwill, but when you live in an area like mine, sometimes it's the only option and it is the biggest thrift store in our area. So I guess we're going to go in and see what we can find in here. Mom's going to go thrift shopping with me. <laughs> I can 100% blame my love of thrifting and antiquing on both of my parents. My mom has always had a talent for decorating and her home looks beautifully styled with all her secondhand finds. My dad also owns his own antique booth up in the Johnson City area and has an eye for items that are worth a lot of money. I'm lucky to have learned some of their skills for my own business. Like I mentioned earlier, art tends to be one of those things I struggle picking up, but I was surprised how many great pieces they had at our Goodwill. And I did end up picking up these floral prints and taking them home. My mom's decorating style is very traditional European and her bedroom is decorated in an English hunting style, so I knew she would love this set of metal setters. I'm not quite sure if they were door stops or what exactly they were, but she did end up leaving them behind because she was worried about having one too many dog items in her space. This is usually my favorite section of the store and the one section that I end up picking up a lot of my items, but there wasn't really much speaking to me today. I did end up holding on to this second brass candlestick for a little bit, but ended up putting it back because I just wasn't sold on it. I thought this mercury glass vase was perfect and I was so sad when I found that it had a chip on it. But I'm glad I looked because there have been so many times where I took home an item that I didn't check and it ended up having a chip on it. The big pot with the lid, the small that we do the tea in, and another, I don't know what size these are, and then the lids to match. That's a good set. That's a great set. I have my own banker's lamp and I love decorating with it. So when I saw this one, I was considering picking it up as I thought about trying to find a replacement glass shade for it and looked at the price. I didn't think I'd be able to resell it and didn't really want to mess with a project. We 
ended off our thrifting day walking through the furniture section. I did like the rocker and they had some interesting chairs out, but what I really fell in love with was this cottage looking kitchen table set. If the top had not been made of laminate and particle board, I would have snatched that up so fast and put it in my own kitchen. I found a really pretty set of pictures that I think will look great in the spring booth. I didn't find too many things this go around for the celestial booth, but I do think that I picked up quite a few good items for next reset in the spring. And I'm always on the lookout for items even if they're not going to be like in this booth reset. I also got myself a set of Revereware pots and pans. Um, I've been looking for some pots and pans and my family has used Revereware for a really long time. So I think I'm gonna enjoy those. My mom and I are gonna go to lunch now and then it's going to be time to price items for the booth reset. It is after two at this point. Mom and I sat down for a very nice long and late lunch. We talked and I always love going out with my mom. So that was a great lunch and I was super happy we went to Panera because I was feeling like I needed something warm and cozy to warm me up today and mac and cheese is just the thing to do that. We will be back to price items for the antique booth and get them loaded into the car so that we can get the booth reset tomorrow. It is now the next evening and I laid everything out that I picked up yesterday so we can go through and see the items that I picked up when we went thrifting. After we do that, I need to do some pricing so we can take all of this stuff to the antique booth tomorrow because we're going to be doing our whole reset for January. We definitely were not able to get as many items as I normally would when we go thrifting, but that's kind of just how it goes sometimes. You're not always going to be able to find what you're looking for. It's thrifting and that's part of the fun. Did Maple want to say hi? Do you, you want to meet everyone on YouTube? Say hi, Maple. This is our little kitten baby. She just got added to the family. Um, but to start, I did get some items that we're going to have in our spring booth reset. So I'll show you those first and then I'll show you what we're going to be adding to our other items that we got for our celestial booth. The first thing we got is a set of four Robert Ferner Gardner prints. They are pretty popular. A lot of people have them. Um, but it's got the urns with the flowers in it and then each of them has a month on the bottom. So we ended up getting July, August, January, and December. We're gonna have all four of those in the booth for spring and I think I got them for $4 a piece. We then found these super fun glasses that have leaves on them. I loved how bright they are and they've got the gold detailing on the edges. They're not perfect, but most vintage items aren't. But I think I got those for 99 cents each. I picked up this little pitcher that's got some really cute detailing on it. Got that one for $2. And then the other item I picked up, I have a problem with baskets. I always love baskets. If I find a nice basket, I'll usually pick it up. But I found this basket and I loved kind of the like crisscrossing on it. And it was only $2, so I picked that one up as well. The other items that I ended up picking up for the Celestial Antique Booth reset tomorrow were a lot of glass pieces. And I'm actually gonna show you some of the pieces that we picked up on our last Thrift With Me video that I completely forgot to put in the haul at the end. You might have seen me pick up these candlesticks. They're really, woo, they're really, really heavy and I got them for $3 a piece but I think they're really cool. The next thing that I got are these crystal 
candle holders. I also love candle holders, baskets and candle holders. I tend to pick up a lot, but I thought they were really pretty and I love the detailing on them, just catching the light. Very shiny and star-like. This is another item I picked up the other day that should have been in our other haul, but I got this, I think that was everything that I forgot to show last time. This time around, I only got about four items for the Celestial Antique Booth reset. I did get this star trinket dish with a little lid on it. I found this set of six glasses. They're kind of similar to the other ones as they've got like a sun or star pattern in the middle of them, but I love cocktail and drinking sets. So I picked those up. I found this very interesting stand for like a pitcher or something. And I really liked how modern it felt with the detailing on it. It is a gold color, so I picked that up. My sister found this one for me the other day that has a star etching in it and she found that for $2. And the last item is this beautiful porcelain piece with gold detailing on it, but it's very um, art deco with the scarf and the lady figurine. So I really like that piece too. Now all that's left is to clean up all these items we picked up for the antique booth and price them. I was able to get everything priced and it is time to pack all of this up and put it in my car so it's ready to take to the antique booth tomorrow morning. If you wanna see how I style all of these items and the process of putting our antique booth together, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to see when we do our next video, which will be the antique booth reset video. If you enjoyed coming along with me today, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Thanks for coming along with me and I hope to see you next time. Bye.